I am Dr. Ashana Bivodana, consultant orthopedic surgeon. I am UK qualified and specialized in Australia in the fields of knee, hip and shoulder surgery, inclusive of minimally invasive and arthroscopic surgery. On my return to Sri Lanka, together with Durden's, I created a subspecialty center of international standards in the fields of knee, hip, shoulder and sports orthopedics. In the field of knee surgery, knee replacement, especially navigated knee replacements, are done at Durden's Hospital. The navigated knee replacement uses a computer as well as a robot, which aids in precise alignment and placement of the implants of the knee. As opposed to a conventional knee replacement, which would last 10 to 15 years, a navigated knee replacement would typically last 25 to 30 years. This precise alignment helps to improve the longevity of the knee implant. Further benefits of such precise alignment are less pain, less complications and less recovery time. I'm Mali, 73 years old. I had a problem, I couldn't walk and I took native treatment for about five long years. I finally heard about Dr. Asha Nabe Vodhana and I went to him. He treated me for about two years and then he said that I have to undergo surgery. I was afraid, but I had no choice and I finally said yes to him. Two days, Friday evening he did it and on Sunday I was discharged. That was all. No pain whatsoever, nothing at all. From day one, they put me, they got me to walk. The physiotherapist was there and I did, I used the walker and I walked at home as well. In five weeks time, I asked him with his permission, I went to Australia after five weeks. So after the second operation, the second knee was done. I went to the kitchen and I started cooking. I sat on a stool that was on the third day or so. And I did all the work in the sense, you know, whatever I could do, I did. Hi, I'm Tirusha J. Sudhasan. My background was that I was uh, Sri Lanka's one and only lady professional golfer. What happened was I put on a lot of weight and it affected my knees. And uh, when I came back to Sri Lanka, I just asked another surgeon and he said that Dr. Ashan he, uh, Abhiratna, he might help me in this stem surgery. So I went to meet him and uh, when we spoke about it, he, there's one thought that struck me. He asked me, he, say, he said, no, you have to have an operation because it's pretty serious. And he said, uh, you know, after the operation, you'll, you'll be able to play golf again. Now, he had no idea I was a golfer. So I believe that that made, made up my mind. Yes, I need the operation. And the, he said both knees would be needing surgery. But we'll start with the bad one, which was a right knee. And so I went ahead and he did a surgery on my right knee. And he did the surgery. And uh, the next day, they made me to walk. <laughs> down the hallway of the hospital and the third day I came home and I think within about two weeks that knee was okay. Uh, six months later I had the second surgery and that too within the next day I came home and I was walking and I was determined to get back to golf. I have had no problems with my knees. I continue to exercise and you know make sure they're okay. So here I am. <laughs> Here at Durden's, we have many therapeutic options and procedures on par with international standards to treat a wide array of joint-related injuries. However, early treatment of injuries is the better option to purely pain management and letting uh, an injury get neglected. Most joint injuries get progressively worse with time. Therefore, it is always better to seek early treatment before the problem gets any worse.